Well, in this one, I'm on a different dump than I was in my last couple videos. Opened up a completely new hole on a new area of the dump and got into just some nice marbles, um, some plastic toys, and just I hope you enjoy because I'm happy. This is the place. Look at all the concrete. I'm pulling out stuff. I just threw a piece of sheet metal down there. Look what was under it. Look there, another piece of concrete stuck in the edge of this brick with marbles all in it. And they're all marble kings. And look at this beautiful cat eye. And look, this one's loose. It's froze out of there. I can bust these out. The cat eye is awesome. Look at it. And this rainbow is nice. And says that one. These are two clearies, but right there. One, two, three, four, six marbles right there. Little enough, look, I got these two right out of there. I'll get this other one out with the green on it. So these will clean up. That can scrub off. That's frameable, both of these. And I just now got this rainbow out. Look how nice it is. It was worth. See, I pried them all off. See, it's nice condition. It's just got to be cleaned up. I'll show you these marbles out of that concrete. I'm getting them out. Look at this beautiful Marble King. Call that like a blend, a blended rainbow. Still a little staining right there, but it'll come off soaking it. No damage. That's a great one for the frame, huh? Well, here's that cat eye out of that piece of concrete. It's kind of got a lavender tint to it. It's it's nice. It's nice to see the lavender in it. It's nice condition. It's going to make the frame. I like it. Well, this will make the third marble that will make the frame out of that concrete. It's a Marble King rainbow, and it had concrete stuck all over it. And I got it off, and I soaked it in this all-purpose cleaner with bleach and in warm water. And I used to get a razor blade to get the concrete off. It peels it right off. Look how nice that is. Well, here's the marbles that didn't make the cut. You can see the concrete stuck to these two clearies here. I didn't even clean it off. See it? It peels right off. But these are common marbles and they got dings. And that's a common cat eye with dings. So I didn't even clean them up. So I got three. Six marbles. Three of them were good and frameable. Just thousands of dollars worth of marbles. So I'm going to start. I've been kind of dreading doing this. Look at the mess. There's an old light fixture. Look at that. That's porcelain. That's probably worth taking. Um, but I'm going to go in here and get this cleaned out to where it's manageable. Hey, look here. There's a big cedar marble. Probably a marble king. A one inch one all busted up. There'll be marbles all through this. Look at this. I mean, I just got it down to where I can start seeing. And I think there's a smoker already. What is this? Oh man. This is a mo like a four color cat eye. Holy crap. One six vein. I don't know if these are old. Vetri this is awesome, folks. Well, this cat eye's dirty. Look at the rust staining to it. So I'm soaking and I'm going to hit it with a wire brush and I'll show it to you clean. That's a beauty. Well, you can see cleaned up. That is a smoker. It's kind of Easter colors and spring colors. Look at it. Look at that. Wow, huh? When you flip them like this, they're so nice. That's a crazy one. Love it. This stuff is preserved. That's enamelware. It's got a hole in it. Otherwise, it would be good. But see, there's sheet metal laying in here. And these kind of places are always good. That marble popped right out back in there. So a blue plastic here. What's that? It's just blue plastic, but that could have been something. I'll get back. I wanted to show you how good this just looks. Already a smoker cat eye. Wow. That's really nice. Whoa, look here live, look there. It's a goat. That's so cool. 
It's a goat. The goat. All right. Goes up into the late 60s. See, there's still cloth, but there'll be marbles. This is just where the explosion is. You'll find a lot of average ones. Here's another Cleary. It's broken in half. There'll just be marbles all through here. All through every layer of this trash. Real slow, because this, the goat, I don't know, five minutes later. My goodness, this has the whole gun on it and everything. Look at this. With a real long rifle with a bayonet on it. No base. Oh, folks. And it's probably military, World War II. We'll get it cleaned up. How awesome. Look, the bayonet still on the gun. Well, you can clearly see that's a Civil War soldier. Oh, it's so cool. And look, his bayonet sheath right there on him, a Civil War canteen, and it's like car tire rubber plastic. I'm excited to get back up there. This is awesome. There's a Jim Beam bottle, and you can still see the label on it. Look at how weird the top is on that. Look, Mary Sherman bubble, bubbling bath oil, Peridot, Gardenia fragrance. Look at that. Mary Sherman, St. Louis. That's <laughs> nuts. Treasure trove of just the coolest dang, look, oh, it's a World War I machine gun. Like that would set on top the trenches. Oh, and it's all, oh, look at this son of a gun. Oh, man. Folks, this is bad to the bone. Well, swivels on the top. It's perfect condition. It's rubber plastic. It cleaned up beautifully. One of the coolest plastic toys of all time to go with my army man that's awesome folks it's that it survived and i'm in a good pocket huh later what do you think this is this would have been another gem for my collection it's real hard plastic it's a suki head and it's stinking popeye but it's all melted look he's got the mean popeye look right when he's ready to eat the spinach oh too bad folks i'm into a whole kid's collection of awesomeness it's all right in here, and look at the trash layers. It's all concentrated here, you see it? My goodness, it's a fireman holding a hose with a base. Oh, man. It looks all good, too. Look how awesome this is. Real hard plastic with the hose nozzle. This is sick. We'll have to look this up, but man, it's awesome. It might be Timmy Toys made in Illinois. Could be like Marks. Marks made some stuff like this. I don't know. I'd have to look it up. These plastic toys like this were huge in the 60s and 70s. And I'm in a nice pocket of them. Look at this cool dude. That's awesome to find for free, isn't it? It's there, there could be thousands of these. I, this is all I've dug, and you see the holes I usually dig. There's plastic figures. Here's another one. Everywhere in here. Oh, it's an Indian. I think whatever was in his hands broke off. I have some like this. It's marked right there. It might be marks. That's cool though. You can see it would have had a knife there, and it's gone. But it's almost all there. And it's marked MPC. I think that's Model Products Company. It's not Marks. Um, that's cool, though. Really detailed. Bad thing on a dump like this. Here's something that's heartbreaking. That's a rubber galloping horse. Made of, like, car tire old rubber. But it's melted. Too bad on that. That could have been worth, like, 10 bucks. $12 in that range. The goodness coming out of these layers. This is a good bottle for me to give away. Look here. Sistersville, West Virginia from about 1950. Coke. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. There's some decent stuff coming out of here. That's too bad. That's break. It's an old break, but that's a quality figurine. It's a little girl. 
Huh, too bad. Something potamus, and it's purple. It's some cartoon character. Something T-E-R potamus, P-A-T-A-M, I'd say. And it's a hippopotamus character. Maybe Hanna-Barbera animation. That's kind of what it looks like. The belt, same person that drew the Flintstones. What is that? But it's a Soki that bubble bath come in, but unfortunately melted. And these in nice condition cleaned up. This could be worth seven, eight, nine, ten bucks. Lay that out of there. Oh man. Look these old rubber soles in there. But that's about it for me today. Just leave us the way it is. Some of the most amazing plastic toys of the year. There's going to be more marbles. I think the marbles are in that layer right there, but the toys are going this way. And there'll be marbles with the toys. I only been here right under two hours, and I'm whipped. You see, huge piece of concrete. I'm going to cut this out, roll this, because I think the plastic toys go all the way under this. This is going to be loaded. That machine gun, my goodness, the first dude with the gun. I wonder what that is, if it's Alpine because it's white, like German Alpine forces. Mark's made all kinds of sets like that. I'm excited. I can't wait to get back here tomorrow, but I'm hungry, and I got to go feed pets and all that, so I'll get back at you, folks. Great day. I stopped at my mom's. This is what I did with the extra super thanks money. I don't have a house payment. My house is paid off, so all I have is bills. And some people gave me super thanks, and I was already paid up. So I went and got candy, a bunch of cool stuff, Juicy Drop Pops, Krabby Patties, Pez Containers. There's sticker things down in there, Sour Punch Twist, Cotton Candy, eggs to hide and my mom has little kids come over here so this is gonna go to some of them that come here so thank you you helped do this look a little monkey that you press a button and it poos out candy and there's a unicorn in that one there's two little girls that come here so you made this happen and it's a good thing i put together a pretty mean Christmas or uh, Easter basket, then, uh, heck yeah. Well, we had to come up and check on somebody. What are you doing, buddy? You biting? I think somebody's conking out a little bit. He'll be ready to go out. You ready to go out? Here, folks. We had to check on him. I'm gonna let him get woke up, and then I think he's gonna go run. Want to run in the grass? So that's what we're doing. And I probably gotta mow my grass. So I hope you enjoyed. That's a great spot. I will go back tomorrow. Hopefully, I can find a bunch of marbles and a bunch of awesome plastic toys. Yeah.